Alrighty, welcome back guys and gals. I wanted to show you a game called uh, Dawn of Fantasy Kingdom Wars. Uh, it's a fun MMO RTS. Uh, so this is the RTS component. It's like any RTS with a base, right? You've got, you know, your different buildings, your fortifications, um, you know, all your different your different little little goodies in, in your layouts of your, of your base, you know. Um, so in the in the innermost base, you've got your town hall, like the main base. You've got your unit creators, like your your archers. You've got a marketplace you can buy and sell your your resource goods. Uh, you know, you can make a magic hall and get wizards, um, stables for knights and such, siege engine workshops. All that sort of good stuff. Then you've got your your standing armies. I just came back from a siege, so my armies are um, in my hometown right now. You can deploy them on the world map and go and siege other players. Um, some of the things that make this game really fun is you can you can pitch your armies against other armies on like an open open plane kind of battlefield, or you can uh, siege another city um, with your armies or defend against a siege on your own city. Um, so it it makes it really entertaining. You can also capture other like NPC cities uh, and and make them your vassals so you can expand your empire, uh, which has added a lot to the gameplay. When I first got this game ages ago, uh, there wasn't a whole lot going on in it. They were still building it. Um, but I, I came back relatively recently and it's been a total blast. Uh, it will be going free to play, um, which is not pay to win. I just let me make that specification. There's been a big post about it and release about it for uh, from the devs um, so it won't be pay to win but it will be free to play so if you're wanting to get kind of all the extra little goodies now that you might have to pay for later go ahead and pick it up for like I think five dollars on Steam uh, but this is the this is the MMO world map you've got some different races you know orc, elves, humans and maybe dwarfs there's a couple uh, you can see these little quest markers here in different cities um, the green question marks meaning I should go there for a quest it's kind of a a gimme. That's an easy visual identifier. These are my vassal towns. So as you can see, it's got the hyphen vassal at the end, which means I control it. I can supply it with peasants to work, um, military to defend it from other attacks. I can manage the economy. I can send some of the resources in it to my to my home base. Um, and it's really really pretty pretty fun. Um, the part that's the coolest about the vassal system is you can expand throughout the entire map. So um, that's ultimately the goal, is taking over the entirety of the kingdom. Um, however, at some point you do get put onto... Other people can't attack your vassal towns, right? So you, you can lose them too. It's not like you just farm it up. But let's go over making an army. So you have an army cap of 60 in your big army. So any battalion you can field 60 units. Um, which is important to know because not all missions require 60. Some only allow 30. Alrighty, so speaking of armies, let's move into some of the open plains battles. This is just me going against AI, so it's not going to be super riveting or super strategic, but the thing I do like about it is you can actually use strategy. Um, so my general strategy, knights, archers, and cavalry. Uh, I'll send the knights in the thick of it because they usually live the longest. The cavalry uh, do a lot of damage, but they get exploded pretty easily. i got to make sure my catapults don't kill them. Uh, so I use the cavalry to flank or hit archers and generally just cut people down relatively quickly. Um, with the units, you can see some of the different numbers down there on the bottom left, you know, 10, 10, 6, 6. You level up your unit squads and, and you can make them more powerful. I think regular units get up to 20, I think your heroes get up to 60, and the wizard I have right here can get up to 100. Uh, I recently got the wizard, so he's pretty darn low. Um, but yeah, this is just kind of a little example of some of the, the, the easy peasy open siege or open plane warfare uh, as you play against other players you can do it pvp um, and it, it's obviously going to be more difficult because they're going to be reacting actively to your strategic positioning uh, i just don't happen to have any recording footage on hand uh so yeah open battles good stuff there's victory take the money and run let's go back to sieges uh so here i'm under attack i'm being sieged by somebody with dragons um so as you can see, I've killed a couple dragons. He's trying to attack my main base. Wandering around, trying to figure out where he wants to go next. Uh, he's not doing a very good job. My base is, is pretty legit. I've got a lot of catapults. Uh, a lot of uh, trebuchets, rather. I think is what they're called in the game. And then 
some ground forces behind the gates and then a lot of crossbowmen up on the the towers for increased range um, so you can see the dragon spit fire they're blowing up my stuff um, but you just have to hope you've got enough deterrent so they don't kill you so he's gonna try a little bit longer and fly in um, he did he he loses but there was team speak chatter so I cut it out for you guys but yeah you can get sieged by dragons sieged by armies all sorts of good stuff so back to armies and how you yourself make sieges or attack um, pretty straightforward click on your town as you saw there was a little army icon to create it you create it and you pull in the people you want you can left click to pull in one at a time or if you have a stack of like eight you can right click and pull the whole stack in um, so that's a nice little thing so I'm gonna go siege a stronghold so I can show you guys what it's like to attack a base now it's an NPC stronghold so it's not gonna be too difficult but I just wanted to give you a, a highlight of it um, so I want to bring catapults not siege towers because well I don't need them but when you do bring stuff to siege, it's really important to remember to bring the the stone to throw. So if you have ballista, or not ballista, gosh, uh, if you have trebuchets, you need to bring something for them to throw, um, and they throw it pretty fast. So anytime I'm sieging, I bring at least 600 stone. Um, I generally, I would take a thousand uh, just to be safe. Um, and I'll go ahead and skip this walk part because that's slow and boring. So when you get there, you can enter the quest and either do it solo. There's a solo option or the co-op option. Now when you do co-op, you can just type in a friend's name and send them an invite, and then you can both siege it with an army. Granted, there's a little bit more defenders because there's two armies attacking now, but it's a good way to have fun with your friends. Um, you can also send your friends gold and stuff like that too. So if you do have buddies that get on this, um, you, know, you can help them out if you're established, like I've done with a couple of my friends. So when you enter the siege, or the stronghold siege, you get a little view of the enemy base, kind of where you can attack, you can see where the units are stationed. Um, so I think this one only has one entrance it looked like but you could some of them have multiple entrances so you could go behind and get into a, a more weakly garrisoned uh, defense but you know this is AI any active player will just move their troops inside the castle to that side so uh, you just need to bring the right amount of force to punch it all down so you have you guys here you can send them up with the, you know the control one through six I think this is one through nine but mine seems to stop working at seven and uh, have your catapult start blasting away uh, you'll notice in a little bit the stone up here will start to dwindle as they as they shoot it all away So what you're doing when you're hitting the catapults is you're just you're tearing down the walls like with any medieval style siege uh, blasting <clears throat> Blasting whatever units are on the walls uh, smashing down the walls themselves It's it's pretty great fun uh, What do we got next? The wall the the destructive destru blah, 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 blah. Let's wind that back. <laughs> the destruction on the walls is pretty cool. So as you as you damage them, they actually tear down. They don't just, you know, whatever it happened. You can change up your views. Here's kind of a more, I don't know, like a cinematic looking one. Um, of me sieging the walls. Really cool stuff. Wow, I just coughed. I don't want to blast your guys' eardrums out. But cool stuff. Um, after I weaken the walls, the defense, the wall defense is a little bit. I uh, usually will bring in a... Uh, battering ram. I don't. I don't always bring one in because normally I'll bring more stone. But just for this one, I wanted to show you guys what a battering ram does. You know, obviously it breaks down the gate walls. No big deal. Nothing uh, unheard of or secretive about it. Uh, but just to give you a little bit of the gameplay experience. So the initial stages of the siege can be pretty boring, just because there's not much going on. Once you break through the walls and the gates, it kind of picks up a little bit. But this game in and of itself isn't really about like really high paced action it's about a bunch of little pieces coming together like the co-op system the vassal system the siege systems and making this really fun rts strategic um, mmo environment uh, and so for me that's what's really really kept me entertained as you know as you've seen some of the combat it's it's not the most riveting combat it's not the most fast paced combat like i'm pretty sure starcraft 2 way outpaces this um, you know, there's still micro, but the micro isn't necessarily as clean. I'm sure it will improve, but uh, it's just, it's the whole strategic setup and the fact that you can use actual um, strategy, like medieval type strategies of, you know, footman line and archer support and then flanking heavy cavalry. That makes it all fun. Uh, so you capture the town and you win. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys do happen to get the game, please enter my name as uh, the referee as Vavoom, V-A-V-O-O-M. That was before I made Horik. So hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the field. Thanks.